This is Chess Coach Bill at chess.com. I'm here covering a few games from a simul I played March 29th where the video I was attempting making live uh, messed up. So anyway, um, the, several of the, the remaining videos I have to make everybody move too fast. This guy took one minute to move on the average and you have two and a, had two and a half minutes to move average and I reward people that take their time and and I don't necessarily reward those that move fast, so we get fast videos, quick videos. Okay, but we'll, we'll run through this. Okay, so I'm playing probably 25 boards. It was crazy. Got the Terrace ter ter defense for the Queen's Gambit. This is all theory. Okay, now I castle. Now Bishop G5 is the main line. Now he takes. I'm going to take back. And I don't really remember all the theory off the top of my head. <clears throat> and I certainly wouldn't remember it during the game. Uh, but I've succeeded in blockading the isolated queen pawn, but at the same time, Black has a couple open files to place rooks on, and his, his pawn in the center has some influence, so, you know, it's dynamically equal. And now I get my rook on the open file, so does he. Now I decide that uh, I'm going to play it a little differently, even though this is not a good bishop and I have the blockade. Uh, I'm going to give him a third pawn island, so I go ahead and capture and to, uh, proceed to commence an assault on this new weakness here. Uh, now, I don't have knight takes, uh, but let's see, I played a3 here, where I did that. Uh, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> okay, so anyway, now. Now I get knight b5. b5 and chases queen. And let's see, he's on my pawn, so I prepare to double, play a little defense. Now the rook covers a couple of pawns laterally. Uh, now he chases me, and I just come back. Now I try to restrain this from, from advancing, although I guess he might be able to advance it. He didn't. Let's see, maybe he can't. Let's see. Oh, he can. He can push. He should push here. Unless I'm missing something. Okay. Uh, now he's targeting a couple of soft squares in my position. He chooses to go there. Now he has a tactical threat here. Knight takes, and if Rook takes, he's removed the defender on, uh, on uh, my knight. So I saw that. And, you know, he's got a couple very look, nice-looking knights here. But he walks into a pin here, as I recall. Uh, and I come back. Now he sets up threats down here. So, but the problem is his pawn on, on well, it wasn't a pin he ran into. His pawn on d5 is overworked here. So I just take this and, and uh, I don't want to take this first because... Uh, he would take my rook with check and then take here. So I take here first to deflect his rook and then I pick up the knight and uh, that means that uh, white's a piece up and I can't do much of anything about it. So he, he chose to resign here. Well thanks for watching.